Tyler Smith had the worst pass blocking performance of his career in week 12 against the New York Giants. He gave up seven pressures and three quarterback hits and had a PFF pass blocking grade of 26.1, which was by far his lowest of the season. But overall, it's been an outstanding rookie year for Tyler Smith. After watching the film from this game, he did get beat by Kayvon Thibodeau a couple times, but a lot of the pressures that he gave up were because of miscommunications and not picking up blitzes, which if you watch any other rookie tackle, they're all struggling with the exact same thing. That's usually something that players grow out of. And with Tyron Smith coming back from injury and Tyler Smith slated to move inside to left guard, I want to do a film breakdown to sort of establish that Tyler Smith has been really good as a left tackle. And whatever you have to do this year to get your best five on the field, I understand that. But in terms of the future, I think Tyler Smith has shown enough this season to where the Cowboys should feel comfortable with him as their left tackle of the future. A major reason for that is how much more valuable tackles are than guards. Number one, they have a greater impact on the outcome of the game. But number two, it's just more difficult to to find people that can play tackle. The thresholds for arm length and coordination are a lot higher on the outside. And I said during the draft that Tyler Smith as a guard prospect would be an elite first round talent. He has the upside and athletic traits to develop into a top five guard in my opinion. But even if he's just an above average tackle, I still think that adds more value to the Cowboys offense than a great left guard. He's done a really good job this year, especially relative to his college film of protecting the outside. He hasn't given up a lot of pressure to speed rushes. The hand placement is still something that needs to improve, but you can see when he lands his punch accurately, he has the foot quickness and play strength to shut down anyone. He gave up a hit on this play to Kayvon Thibodeau, incredible bend around the edge. But throughout the game, you'll see Tyler Smith use this flash technique where he fakes a punch to try to get the pass rusher to declare his move. And then he replaces his hands when they're not expecting it. On this play, he just misses with his punch and he's a little late. And that's enough for Thibodeau to get to the quarterback. And then another problem I've seen occasionally with Tyler Smith is he'll stop his feet when he makes contact. He gets away with it because he has such an athletic advantage over a lot of NFL pass rushers. But you saw with Kayvon Thibodeau, when he goes up against a fellow first round athlete, the technique has to be a lot cleaner. In week 12, he got beat a few times on blitz pickup. And when I say beat, I mean PFF charted him as being responsible for giving up the pressure. But this first play, Kayvon Thibodeau gets his face mask and he's trying to slide over to block number 41, but he just gets pulled away, ref doesn't see it. On this play, he does need to pick up the three technique instead of the wide nine, but Dallas is sliding the protection to the left, so Dak knows that if both of these defenders rush, there's gonna be an unblocked player, so he gets rid of the ball. So it's something to fix, but it ended up not mattering that much. So blitz pickup and footwork on speed rushes are the two areas that Tyler Smith needs to improve the most, but there are way more things that he does well than there are things he struggles with. When he's on a double team or just one-on-one -on -one at the point of attack, he creates so much displacement, consistently just driving players out of the end zone angle. And it isn't just raw strength, he also has the coordination and flexibility out in space to execute these blocks on the move. And when he secures the block, he can just drive through his hips and completely control the defender. Another thing that impresses me with Tyler Smith is his arm strength, which is normally something we talk about with quarterbacks, but when he gets his hands on the pass rusher's chest, the first thing they all try to do is a chop move or a swipe move to release the contact, but Tyler Smith's arms are so massive that it has no effect. You also see this in the run game when a defensive lineman's trying to two gap. If he's shading over to the B gap, but that's where the running back's going, Tyler Smith can just uproot him and free open a running lane. Tyler Smith has shown that he can be a high quality tackle in the NFL. So when he moves inside to guard for the last six weeks of the season and has success as I expect him to, that shouldn't change the Cowboys long-term plans for Tyler Smith's position. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also let me know in the comments any players or teams that you'd like me to cover.